Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for joining me for this video. So a few days ago, I did receive the new Born This Way Matte Foundation from Too Faced. If you guys don't know, I have, am a massive fan of the Born This Way line. I love the Multiscopic Concealer and I love the foundation, the original version. I haven't tried the original concealer, so let me know your thoughts on that. I might grab that, but I don't know if it's like outdated now, if it's discontinued, but let me know. Um, but I wanted to try this, even though I am not preferably a MAC Girl fan. I know there are people out there that are, but I am starting to go for that more matter look. I don't know why. I just think you could make it a little bit dewy with a highlighter and setting spray. So yeah, love it. This product was given as PR. This video is not sponsored or paid. And there's no obligation to post or anything like that. Um, so here we have the little PR package that it comes in. It does come with a little press sheet, which I'll tell you about in just a second. So it says five reasons to fall in love with the mattes. So it's 24 hour matte. 24 hour. I don't know why foundations do this. Like I get so you know when you're actually wearing it in the first few hours of your duration of wearing it it's going to be like there um it's oil free and oil controlling which is great for those that are oily prone or combination skin because i know that can be a real bugger when it comes to matte foundations and um, transfer resistant humidity and sweat resistant and waterproof so i know like i've seen people say you can go swimming in it i don't exactly recommend that and i don't exactly recommend skincare wise wearing a foundation for 24 hours so if i actually go and show you what the product looks like this is what the foundation looks like right here it literally just looks like the concealer version if i show you the concealer now so here is the Too Faced Born Matte, Born This Way Matte Foundation, and here is the Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer. So you can see the exact same packaging, but one is smaller and one is bigger. These are going quite a cute duo. Um, me personally, I'm not going to be using the concealer today. Maybe in the future of my Instagram videos, I can show you how I used them together if they work. So I was sent the shade Light Beige. I think this might be okay for me. I might have should have gotten um what's after light beige natural beige personally because i'm normally natural beige in the other foundation and the concealer so we'll see this foundation is available in 35 shades now it has all the shades here now personally i know this is only a little picture showing you the shades but the i'm here i don't really think i'm that dark so um yeah i'm just a little bit confused but i like how i'm seeing an array of shades like i'm not just seeing loads up here and very few down here i am seeing very if not equal amounts um which is great personally um i it does come with a pump as you guys can see i'm not going to keep you guys waiting too long i am going to check back on you in a few hours like in a few hours just to see how everything's holding up and whatnot so this isn't just going to be me playing in a foundation showing what it looks like showing if it's matte and then going along with my day no i'm going to show you um mine went blank there i'm going to show you a few hours later as well because i know you guys asked for that quite a bit what we're going to do now is we're just going to go in with the foundation i'm going to apply it to my face and then we'll yeah so i'm giving the bottle a little bit of a shake which is always lovely and i'm going to apply a pump onto my face okay so the color doesn't actually seem too bad doesn't actually seem too bad which i'm not mad at got this on my face as i would it doesn't have the other smell. You know how the other foundation has that particular smell? It doesn't have the same smell. I have spritzed my brush. I always spritz my foundation brush. The foundation brush I'm using today is the Smashbox Full Coverage Foundation Brush. This is what it looks like. It does have my name on it. I highly recommend this foundation brush. It is amazing. So I'm just going to take the excess that is on my hand. It seems to blend in quite well anyway. And then we're now just going to go in and blend it in. So, so far, shade match is perfect. Okay, so I have blended that in. Um, this was super easy to move around. It was super easy to blend. It is definitely a full coverage foundation. Now, by first impressions, I think I used too much. You literally only need a pump. I didn't need to go in with a second pump. It does not go on the skin matte. It, it, you can see my skin is still really dewy right now. So, I'm hoping, obviously, it's supposed to dry down matte. It goes where you want it to go. Now, for, like... First impressions, I am very, very impressed with it. Um, it's covered what I needed it to cover. Um, doesn't It hasn't clung to any problem areas. I don't really have too many problem areas, but I do have some problem areas around my hairline. I have not seen that so far, which is really, really nice. Shade match is on point for me personally. Uh, haven't had or I haven't got any issues with it so far, um, which is really, really nice. It's definitely full coverage or medium buildable full coverage. Um, shade match is really there isn't it like personally anyway um i think if you're a mac nc25 to nc27 you're going to be perfect on this 
I do see it gathering slightly around my mouth. I think that maybe is because I haven't blended it around my mouth properly. But a little goes a long way, guys. You can just still see that my skin is very dewy still. I'm really hoping this dries down matte. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go on top with a sponge now and just make sure I just remove the excess because sometimes the excess can make the skin look a little bit more dewier and i don't want to have too much foundation on especially with a matte foundation because it will look cakey um which is what we do not want i want that matte feel but without the cakiness but so far i actually feel as if i've put a layer of the concealer on like the coverage is there it's really really lovely i do think this will be a great combo so if you do have the concealer already this might be lovely blending really really easily like i've got quite a lot of peach fuzz quite a, lot, a little bit of like dry skin right now and whatnot but this seems to go on the skin beautifully and it's it's for some reason it's like i haven't got primer on and it's like blowing my pores it's not blowing my pores but it's not in enhancing anything it's not making my pores look more visible it's not making any dry patches look more visible it's not making my problem areas or anything like that it is looking really really lovely like a smooth canvas on the face which is what i always go for especially with matte foundations is because if you apply a matte foundation onto textured skin it's problematic it's, that's why normally people go with primers but i wanted to try this without a primer to see how it held up because i don't want to add that extra pore filling primer or matte primer um to hold in the oils i want to just see what it does but so far it's still wet like it's not wet but it's not matte yet which is interesting because it's supposed to be a matte foundation so let's see where this goes so what i'm going to do is i'm going to apply the rest of my makeup i'm going to come back to you with my thoughts and then obviously i'll give you a check back in in a few hours later okay so i finished the rest of my base as you guys can see now my thoughts are originally i don't really see the matte vibe from this honestly because i got up to the powdering stage um and i used the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless fusion is it flawless fusion Airbloss Flawless Finish, that's what it's called, powder in the shade Fair. Um, now, I only started to matte, like get a bit, of, a little bit matte um, when I applied the powder. Honestly, I don't really see this being matte. It has actually, no, I'm looking at it, the places that I haven't said, it has dried down matte, but it does take quite a while to dry down, personally. Like, it's not um, something that's just going to mattify completely. It did take quite a while. So, I'm thinking if you actually have oily skin, I would probably say go with a slightly matte primer if you want that instant matte but if you do want that matte feeling afterwards it doesn't feel cakey it doesn't feel heavy it feels really lightweight um it doesn't feel like i haven't got much on obviously out of everything i can just feel like i've got eyelashes and lips on but i don't really feel it much of anything else doesn't feel heavy i did also go in with an even heavier concealer afterwards and it doesn't look cakey it's blended beautifully my pores look airbrushed like I'm just really, really impressed. It's blended really lovely with cream products and powder products. So, yeah, I really do like that. Um, but it just, I was just expecting it because it said matte, like it's labeled that matte. Normally, with matte foundations, it instantly goes matte or it has that drier texture. Do you know what I'm talking about? When you get that matte, it, it, that, that matte foundation, it, so it tends to be a little bit more moussier or a little bit more drying in consistency. But this one was very wet, very dewy vibes. Like you would apply it and think it's going to be a dewy foundation, but it dries down matte, which is what I like. Because I like dewy foundations, it's sort of sitting the way a dewy foundation would, but it's matte. Do you get what I'm saying? It's really hard to explain. It's a different consistency, but I can definitely tell it's high quality and the product has been thought about. So I would highly recommend this. I am not a matte girl. You guys know I am not a matte girl, but I could see this closely coming up to one of my favorite foundations personally. Of course, I'm going to use it in different environments. I'm going to use it on my Instagram. I will do other little pickup reviews on there, but I'm going to try this on for now a few hours. It's currently around 12 to one o'clock. I'm going to come back maybe around 6 or 7 p.m. Give you my final thoughts, wrap it up. So we've got a good six or seven hours Hours wear i'm gonna wear it for the full 24 hours because my skin will break the hell out but yeah six to seven hours i think for me should be enough i'll come back i won't like do any touch-ups with powder or anything like that i'll come back with my oiliness and yeah hey guys it's been around about five six hours now um i have been wearing this as you can see my under eyes have smudged you know when you get your lash line and um the lash band actually hits your bottom lash line makes your eye water like i thought it was to do with my concealer but i realized it was the lashes sometimes what happens is i bring the lash in too far into the inner corner and then it makes the eye water and then you know that happens but um 
the reason why you're probably thinking why hasn't her lipstick moved like no what has happened is is i haven't eaten drunk or anything like that um, just because i'm a very messy eater and i didn't want to end up with tomato ketchup all over my face and things like that but yeah it's currently been a good few hours and as you can see for me personally i don't get oily very much i get oily in my t-zone so my forehead and my pore area as mostly everyone does because everyone secretes sebum from there um i have normal to combination sometimes it's gonna be a bit oilier but because the weather's not been too humid today it's not been too warm i have been actually okay um but yeah it's holding up really really lovely obviously i haven't done any strenuous activities i haven't gone to the gym i haven't really gone outside i've um, been on a few zoom calls zoom meetings so yeah this has literally just been the face that i've been wearing um nothing has fallen apart or anything like that like there's no texture or anything obviously i've got my usual you know shebang of skin like my skin isn't perfect but it's doing really really lovely so far this is a foundation that i guarantee i probably go towards a lot now like i prefer this one over the original two face foundation now the original one was lovely but this one's really really lovely and i don't really think it's matte i don't know what it is maybe on people that have oily skin you will find that it's matte but i don't find it I, oh, it's like a satin matte it's not like a dry matte and i think that's what the market needs these days because of course not even the masses of matte foundations are not really gonna hold up but sometimes you can go too matte where it gets cakey but it's just a perfect balance but i see the matte but then i don't see the matte it's hard to explain until you actually feel it like it doesn't feel like a matte foundation sometimes matte has this dragging heavy feeling that's why i tend to not go for mattes but this is lovely like it's just so if i come up close and show you my pores if i just zoom in a little bit easier for you guys excuse the two glit bits here but it's just not enhancing too much of my pore area which is really really lovely i don't have the most perfect skin guys so yeah but you can just see like where i would have tons and tons of open pores that you can see in my eyeshadow videos i don't which is really really lovely and save my forehead i have a little bit of like texture and whatnot but it's not enhanced at all it's just literally my normal skin yeah i'm literally over moon about that so yeah there's nothing really more i can say um i hope you guys really enjoyed this video let me know if you're gonna buy it for reference i definitely feel as if i am the shade light beige um which is kind of weird i'm wondering if it's my winter shade maybe my summer shade i might be one or two up but definitely right now i am light beige which is the perfect shade for me so yeah thank you so much for watching this video let me know if you have any questions please head over to my instagram also if you want more and like like a direct response and yeah thank you so much for watching us see you in my, another i shall see you in my next one bye